Those in favor say aye. 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 I can't say it tonight, people. <coughs> the nays, any nays? Motion carries 6-0. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve an amendment to the City Hall Boiler Replacement Agreement. The Clark House has a need for a boiler repair slash replacement. Staff is recommending AJ Associates provide an engineering plan for the replacement of the non-functioning boilers and a long-term plan for a complete system replacement. They have provided a proposal of $3,900 for this service. There is currently $32,000 available for this project. The city has an agreement with AJ Associates for the City Hall Boiler Replacement Project, and staff is recommending the agreement be amended to include the boiler replacement for the Clark House. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved. Moved by Osama. Second, Your Honor. Second by Bob Bynum. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. Oh, I'm sorry, Dick. Yes. If I could just take a minute. Um, Phil, I asked before uh, if we had replaced those boilers not long ago, and you were correct. In 95, we did replace those boilers. Um, unfortunately, the company that made those boilers, there's 13 of them, three of them for hot water and 10 for the building, which modulate according to how, what the temperature is or what the need is. But uh, the boiler or the company that made those boilers went out of business and we can no longer give parts for those. So we're looking at replacing them in stages. Uh, however, we may look at each year we have like replacing, replacing two for one. And uh, we may look at an, at an alternate down the road uh, Due to economics, if, if we're looking at replacing two now, but we may look at an alternate replacing four, so we may come back and talk to you about a number for four or two here within the next six weeks or so. Good. Right. Any questions or comments, Council? Thank you very much, Dick. We appreciate that. We already have a motion and a second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Um, I can't say it, people. Opposed. Opposed. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> there you know. go. Opposed, no. So that motion carries 6 0. I just simply can't say it tonight. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to approve a request for the posting of no parking on the southwest side of the 300 block of Oak Street across from the Han Oak Steel Plant office building. Safety and management personnel for the Oak Steel Plant are concerned with transport semi-trailers, <coughs> ability to negotiate the loading docks with vehicles parked along this portion of Oak Street. 
The traffic committee has reviewed this request and is recommending city council take action to approve the proposal as submitted uh, by Han. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Scott. Second, Your Honor. Second by Diane. Discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Six zero. Presented for the City Council's consideration is a request to purchase a utility vehicle for the golf course. Three bids were received with a low bid from Elder Implement in the amount of $11,065 for a John Deere XUV 825i Gator. The old utility vehicle was sold for $2,800, bringing the actual price down to $8,265. There is $10,500 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So moved, Your Honor. Moved by Phil. Second. Second, Your Honor. Second by Scott. Discussion. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries 6-0. Presented for City Council's consideration is a request to authorize the purchase of a utility vehicle for the soccer complex. Three bids were received with a low bid from Elder Implement and the amount of $13,380 for a John Deere XUV 825i Gator. This vehicle will replace an older piece of equipment that has already been disposed of. There is $14,500 budgeted for this purchase. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? So move, Your Honor. Moved by Diane. Second, Your Honor. Second by mm -hmm. Bill. Discussion. Your Honor, what's the, what's the difference between those two gators? <laughs> Different price. I had a feeling I'd be coming up here tonight to describe this. Uh, this vehicle will be used primarily at the soccer complex in Kent Stein Park. Uh, the difference with it is that it's going to have a cabin heater. We're also planning to use this vehicle throughout the uh, throughout the season, especially in the winter time, to uh, for the outside parks, especially parks like uh, Fuller Park and the interior of Weed Park, to be able to uh, do maintenance work throughout the park systems. Uh, that it'll be used throughout the entire park system, so that we can complete work throughout the winter months as well. Can uh, these gators be be driven on uh, public roads? Yes, they can. They do come with uh, with turn signals, with also with uh, lighting systems, uh, so that the, road, uh, the vehicles can be driven throughout the road systems. We also have uh, several uh, vehicles uh, similar to this. One at the golf course, one at park maintenance currently, and also I believe the water pollution control plant.
can't just purchase one similar to the vehicles that we're looking at purchasing. Thank you. Yep. For the questions or comments, anybody? Well, I don't know why Nick is up there here. Why don't we share one for the two parks? What's that? <clears throat> why don't we share one for the two parks? We have uh, a trailer that can haul it back and forth. These, uh, again, this will be primarily used, especially from April 1st through November 1st at Soccer and Kent Stein. Uh, we did dispose of a utility vehicle at the Soccer Complex, and the golf course also did dispose of a vehicle out of the golf course. Uh, with a long transportation time like this, we are in both the need of a utility vehicle at this time. But one will be used for seven months and one for 12 months. Uh, right? One, actually, the golf course will be used uh, from uh, about the middle of March to the middle of November, so it'll be about an eighth month uh, eighth month period. Uh, soccer and Kennesaw, they are both needed at the same time. They're going to uh, both be performing uh, turf type tasks, one at soccer between soccer and Kent Stein and one at the golf course as well. So they are going to be needed uh, throughout those seven to eight months at both uh, <coughs> locations. Thank you. I was also very grateful to see uh, that the local bids kept the money locally and they came in under. So, yeah, it's good. Good, very good. Anyone else, Council? Beating Muscatine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyone else, Council? Thank you very much, Nick. We appreciate it. Any further discussion, Council? Those in favor say aye. 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 Wait a minute, I'm sorry, we got to go back. We need a, uh, no, those in favor say aye. 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 And opposed, nay. That carries six zero. We finally got it. plenty of votes for that one. Request to approve a city deer hunt presented for city council's consideration is a request to approve the city's deer hunt, which begins September 10, 2011, and ends January 29, 2012. The city has been participating in a citywide deer hunt program under the guidance of the Iowa Department of Natural Resources since 2006-2007 deer hunting season. Is there a motion to approve the request as submitted? <coughs> so moved, General. Moved by Osama. Second, Your Honor. Second by Phil. Discussion? Your Honor. Yeah, please. According to the aerial deer count that we've been taking, except for one year, since 2008, the deer population has decreased from 172 to last year's count, 114. According to the IDNR, uh, the expectation is that the deer count should have decreased by 36, but the uh, actual number was 6. Or, I'm sorry, the increase should be 36, but the increase is only 6 deer. If we are in a deer population maintenance mode, which is what was stated, why aren't we eliminating the changes in the original deer hunting regulations that made it easier to hunt the deer? There were changes along the way uh, in hope. 
hopes of uh, reducing the population even more. So, you know, I'm wondering where we're headed. Uh, I think there should have been some elimination of the increases that resulted in more deer uh, being killed and the population not increasing as quickly as as the IDNR recommends. I'm not what? sure I followed the whole yeah. question. Uh, <laughs> Our population is Our population only is increased deep. according to the aerial survey by six deer. The IDNR suggests it should be 36. Decrease from 2008 from 172 to 2011, 114. Is that what right. you're looking at? That's from the chart on the separate page. Mm -hmm. So are you offering an amendment or just a comment? I do not have an amendment, but I'd like to see uh, the regulations amended so that we aren't just uh, causing perhaps eventually almost the extinction of the, extinction of the deer population uh, in the city. It's, what do you recommend down. to amend in the regulation? What do you recommend I'm to amend in the regulation based on the number declining? I think there were a couple of things the size of the acreage. Mm -hmm. Is that right? If we could go back to the original acreage that was designated. And the length of the season wasn't that changed. No. That was not changed. Uh, no, I think, I, frankly, I think that the, whether it's 117 or 160, I think that the, the hunt needs to continue. Uh, I would like to see the approval for this uh, being offered or brought to council sooner because I think they've they've already had the class for certification for bow hunters and if this wouldn't be approved then we would have wasted our time having the class so the current regulation now it's two acres combined i mean is it two, acres? two i i, I think not, it's i'm not sure the <laughs> i think two two and a half one and a half i, I don't remember i think it's two i think the current acreage is two acres thank you and we have had one two of the proficiency test we have one more proficiency test proficiency mayor <laughs> I can't can't do it here the proficiency test is the Saturday for the last one if there are hunters out there that did not have an opportunity to come to the first two we will make more dates available to them DNR officer did say we are in a maintenance program by no means should we be discontinuing our program or we will lose control and be into an eradication program so, again. so two acres is the limit right now we had probably 34 hunters that have qualified so far to take the hunt october 1st is by by the city ordinance we need approval from you to continue if you choose to change the ordinance we will delay the hunt that is for sure the city hunt is from 
September 10th through January 29th. That is set by the IDNR Deer Eradication Officer, not by the city. The normal deer hunt is from October 1st through January 10th. So our hunt is expanded for the city limits. Again, that is set by the deer deprivation officer, though. So that well, cannot I'm, be shortened, you're saying? They are the experts on the deer hunt management zone we're in. Therefore, we listen to what they're advising us to do. If it's two acres now, what was it before? I wasn't involved in the hunt before, Jerry, so I don't know that. I do know that the code specifically says two acres now. It was one. It was one. It was one. Yep. Two acres. I will tell you during our meeting on Monday with the, with our required meeting when we went through the code with the deer hunters, they would rather be moved up to three acres. I understand the reason. We did survey the community at the completion of the hunt this last year. We sent out a survey. We sent out a press release asking for input from the entire community, not just from the hunting community. And I think I included those results in here. We received very few negative comments. We have received several comments of, can we not do something more? to do something with the deer because although we show them deer were taken, we also know we've seen an enormous amount of deer killed along 